Hello and welcome to another how-to and demonstration video. Today we'll look at video tampering. You're probably asking yourself what is video tampering. So really, it's pretty much as the title says, if somebody starts fiddling with a camera, so maybe they, they throw a towel over it to, to block its uh, field of view, you can set it up that the machine will, the recorder machine can send you some sort of an alert to your phone. So if it's a, an alert to your phone, it's a push notification, which will also attach a, a film clip to it as well. You can have it sending you snapshots to your email address or snapshots to your, your cloud storage. You can have an audible noise at the site. And the, other, and the final option is if you had a split screen like this, so you had the nine pictures up on the telly, it would just change to that one camera. You know, to say this is the camera that has the problem right now. Or you can select all of them or just pick the ones that you want. Really, the choice is up to you. Another thing you can do is you can also select the days that you want that feature on and the times of those days that you want it on or you just have it on all the time. It's, it's Like I say, it's pretty flexible. So we'll go into the setup on that just now and then we'll, we'll do a proper video tampering uh, demonstration for you and we'll show you that coming straight through to the mobile phone as well with the film clip so you see exactly what you're getting. This feature is standard on all the systems that we sell. It really depends if you want to use it. So, we'll transfer you to the setup now and we'll, we'll be back in a second. So for the video tampering setup, what you do is you right click your mouse and you'll be asked to log in either using your password or your pattern or in my case mine is already automatically logged in so I don't have that problem, it just goes to where I need it to be straight away. Along the top you'll see a cog which will say system, so you left click the mouse and down the side, on the left hand side, you will see event. So we'll click on that. Now we're basically working our way from the top here, you'll see motion detections highlighted. The next one along is the video tampering, which is what we are wanting. So we'll click on it. Working your way down the screen, it's asking you which camera you want to do use this feature on. So if it was just one camera, you can expand the box and select which one you want. In my case, I'm actually just using the top camera anyway. So I'll select that. Make sure you enable it by ticking the box. So on the, this is obviously the camera picture that we're seeing right here, hello. And on the right hand side, you've got a sensitivity adjustment here as well. So zero to two, one being in the middle. So we're, we'll just leave it at that and see how it goes. Arming, uh, just make sure you click apply as well at the bottom there once you set up that part. Arming schedule. So this is the days and the, the times that you want the video tampering to work. So if it's all blue, like it is at the moment, on my, in my case, it's set up to work every day at every hour of the day. So let's say you didn't want Monday to have the video tampering feature on for whatever reason. You want to remove that day. So see what it says, none. You click on it and you just hold the left side of the mouse and you just remove that day. So see how it's now white, it's now gone, so it only works on Tuesday to Sunday. And again, you can select certain hours, you know, whatever you want, it is flexible. Just make sure if you change anything, you click apply down at the bottom here. So I'm going to put the whole thing back on again, so we'll just fill the boxes up again. There we go. Click apply. Now, next one along, we've got linkage action. So if we click on that. These are the notifications that you get. So if you want them all, you could just select the box and click them all. In my case, on this video today, we're gonna to use the full screen monitoring. So that's if you've got the nine split screen and the camera gets a video tampering alert, it changes to that one camera. The next one down, we've got audible warning. So the machine will make a bleeping noise to make you aware something's not right and notify surveillance center that's the push notification through to your mobile phone i'm going to show you that at the end of the video i'll just attach a film clip to the end of this video because i can't do it at this point in time because i'm actually using my phone for the recording send an email so that will send you the snapshots to your email address and likewise send you snapshots to your your personal cloud storage at this one at the bottom here make sure if you change anything you do click apply as well as a little shortcut, say you wanted this feature on all the cameras, you can actually just select whichever camera 
and if they're all the same you just go down to the bottom where it says copy and just tick the box and click apply and that'll put all the settings across all the cameras saving you having to do them individually if you want different settings and different cameras you, you will have to do them individually though okay, so keep that in mind I'll cancel that down there just now so that should be a setup we've got our notifications in we've got our times in and obviously the area that we're going to cover which is this one here so we'll click apply and put it back to live view so what i'm going to do is the camera which is actually camera number one this one here you should see me waving this now i'm going to go up to that and i'm going to put my hand over it and when i do it you will get the split screen changed to a single screen and you should hear an audible alert as well so that will be the first part of the video here we go so hand over it just takes a couple of seconds just to make sure there you go so it's bleeping there and it should be a change from a split screen to a single screen when i remove my hand it'll start to come back take a few seconds there we go camera sort itself back out again so I know it's worked as well because if you look at the top right hand side of the monitor you've got a one so if you click on that number one you'll see a video tampering here this is one I've done earlier so it actually gives you the date and the time so if you click on it and expand it it'll give you a, a wee phone clip at the bottom there it's a, a minute and 36 long so I'm just going to skip it forward a wee bit There you go, that's when I was telling you I was waving at the camera. So you get a before, before the event, the actual event, and then an after as well. So we'll just let it play. Hopefully not be too much longer now. There we go. So that's what you see on the monitor itself. So what I'll do is I'll cut the video here and then I'm going to attach the, the mobile phone side of things to it as well. So if there's a video tampering alert and you're away from the site, what you're going to see wherever you are will come through to your mobile phone with the film clip attached as well. When you're away from your property and a video tampering alarm happens, so I'll just go up to the camera, put my hand over it again just like before. We've got a notification coming through. Right to the phone. So when you open up the app, down at the very bottom you'll see one notification. So if you click on that and go to event, which is at the very top right hand side, you'll see video tampering alarm from the camera. So if we click on the camera, down at the bottom, if you had multiple sites, this is where it's quite helpful. So you get video tampering alarm, it happened today's date, it happened at this time, and it's from the showroom. So if you had multiple sites, it could be from the workshop, or it could be from your house, say, and it tells you exactly which camera it is. You'll also notice that the playback is highlighted as well. So when you click playback, we should get a film clip come through to the phone, uh, to the build up to the event. So we'll just click on it now. And there you have it. There's me going up to the camera. That's it. So I'll just click back. Back. Now that notification will just sit there until you delete it. So up at the top right hand side you see edit. So just click on it. Select it. Down at the bottom delete. And that's you back to the start. When, I mean another thing you can do as well is if you want to see what's going on at the site then you would just log into your CCTV system and see what's going on. Obviously if somebody's tampering with it, chances are you're not going to see that camera, but you still have the other ones there as well. So you can still see if somebody's moving around in, a, in another place in the, at the site. So that's it, I'll wrap it up there. I hope the video was helpful and it's all here in our showroom in Dalgate AB5. It's all working, so you're welcome to come in and see it. And failing that, we'll see you on another video. Thanks again for watching.